I will be showing you today how to remove a cooling unit from an ES Plus machine. First things first, you must remove the panel from the side because you must remove the last bottom tray in order to get to the cooling unit. When you remove the last tray to gain access to the cooling unit, you have to remove nine screws. There's four here, there's three on the bottom, and two on the sides. Once you remove the screws from the panel, all you have to do is just go pull it to the side and it slides right out. As you can see here, there's a cable that's connected for the motor here. Just disconnect it, put it to the side. As you can see here, here is where the cooling unit is. There are five to six screws that you must remove and this panel will come right out and you will see the cooling unit. Once you remove the panel, uh, right here, there's four screws. There's one here, one here, one down here, and one here. Once you remove those four screws, you can remove this out, this panel out, and put it to the side. And as you can see, right here is the cooling unit down here. Now, up here is the shroud. So here, you have, you have three screws. You remove one here, one here, and one here. Once you remove the screws, you just lift it up, and the top shroud will come, up, will come right off. After you do that, you, have, you can see the condenser on the top with the barrel fan. Now, to remove the cooling unit, you have to remove uh, two more screws. That's one right here and one right here, and it should slide right out. Once you remove both panels, you will have access to disconnect the power from the power supply itself, as you can see. This is what powers the cooling unit. Once you remove that, now you can, you'll be able to remove the whole cooling unit as one piece. We have the cooling unit all taken apart. Now, once we have it all uh, able to bring it out, all you have to do is just lift this part up And then you pull out the cooling unit and it comes out as one piece. Just be careful with the copper wiring. Okay? Once you do this, you, you can pick it up and you can put it on the floor. When putting back in the cooling unit, as you can see on the condenser here, there's a couple of notches. Okay? This notch right here goes into that slit right there. Okay, so make sure when you're putting it in and sliding it into the into the top part here where the barrel fan is, make sure that that little notch goes into that slit right there. When putting in the cooling unit, you can put it in as one piece. Just make sure you slide in both pieces, the top part and the bottom as one. making sure that the, the drainage hose goes into the tub, the water dispensing uh, tub. Once the cooling unit is in position, push it back all the way to the to as until you feel it stop.
once you once you have everything placed in you will connect the power and the barrel fan When replacing the shroud, as you can see, there's a notch here. That little notch goes into the back end here where there's a slit where it goes into. So once you do that, you just bring it in. Okay. Make sure that, that, that it says into the notch, pull it back and that's it, right there. And you will have three screws to put in. You have the two here and one here also you will have two screws to put here also. When replacing the panel here, back here, you have to make sure that that little copper line goes into this hole right here. And then all you have to do is just replace the four screws back. Once you put back the panel in here, now you can put back the product door. Make sure you connect this, the cable, the cable back here. And then replacing the nine screws. They go around. Once you place back the back black panel in here, all you have to do is insert the tray again. And put back the cabling for the tray and replace back the panel and you should be okay.